If I hit you with a W-I-D you better not hit me with an H -E -Y. What a dish to YouTube. It's your boy checking back in. Hope all has been well. And I want you to take a second and take a close look at your calendar because winter's around the corner. <laughs> I can't believe it's that time of year already. And if you live anywhere like I do, right now it's starting to get cold outside and snow is inevitable and it's going to come soon. So with that being said, if the title of today's video hasn't given it away already, I am super excited to talk about what I would consider definitely one of the most hype streetwear collaborations of the past couple of years with the Kanye West and Gap collaboration on the perfect hoodie. In terms of background, I'm gonna get into that in a second, but as per usual, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, nice to meet you. For those of you who are returning, Appreciate you as always, hope you've been good. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and hit that like button if you haven't already. And obviously, follow the kid on Instagram. That's where you're gonna catch me in between videos. But yeah, enough about me for now. Let's talk about this hoodie, man. For those of you who don't know, Kanye West actually signed a 10 year deal with The Gap to come up with a collection of elevated basics. The goal of this partnership was to have Kanye put his spin on a bunch of unique and more high quality garments while still keeping them at an affordable price point for the general public. Anyone who heard that obviously was hyped. Kanye fan. Gap fan, kind of a nice synergy going on. So everyone was excited to see what they're gonna come up with first. Coincidentally, this hoodie release was actually the second release. The first release was a couple months ago called the Round Jacket. Kind of a controversial piece because it did resemble a garbage bag in some pictures. And even with that in mind, when that jacket did release, it did blow a lot of Gap sales records out of the water. The Kanye effect is definitely real. And after that, everybody pivoted to see what was next. And thankfully it was these highly sought after hoodies because they were projected to be like the best hoodie ever. Like perfect fit, perfect cut, perfect materials. So today, let's see how accurate that statement really is. This collection of hoodies actually dropped on September 29th in six colors to be exact. So the colors were black, purple, red, blue, a darker brown and a lighter brown for a retail price of $90 American. So it was about 110 Canadian before shipping, which is more on the expensive side when it comes to the basic garments. And all over Twitter, Instagram, and everywhere in between, you can see kind of the disgust given what was presented versus what the price was. I opted to go for the lighter brown just because it's not a color I see every day. And when it comes to earth tones for the fall, this was a no brainer. And if it was gonna be anything like the Kanye 2020 Vision hoodie, I thought, hey, why not? Worst case scenario, I just have a sick hoodie to wear at home. Best case scenario, I have another fire hoodie, which would be heavy in my rotation, like that 2020 Vision hoodie is right now. This release was actually a US exclusive on the Gap website. So it was region locked. Unfortunately, someone like me living in Canada had to go above and beyond to try to find the connect for it. Thankfully, the homie Kyle hooked it up and got it shipped over to me. But with that being said, he was mentioning that on the website, realistically, it was a very, very easy cop given the demand. And anybody who was looking for a size would have been able to get it. The website listed it was gonna take about 14 business days to actually get to your front door. But people were seeing well ahead of that, including myself. It took about 10 business days or so to go from shipment to shipment which is great and I couldn't complain about that at all. With the retail price being $90 or about 110 Canadian, obviously there was some uproar in terms of what is affordable and like really what are we gonna be getting for a $90 hoodie? Given the kind of reputation Kanye had and given the photos, people had a lot of faith that the hoodie was gonna be sick. When it came to actually receiving the hoodie, in typical Kanye fashion, the branding was very, very minimal. It actually came in this plain brown box Inside this, based on the other YouTube videos I've seen, there should actually be a brown paper bag containing the hoodie. For my own situation, since it was reshipped, I just got the box and then the hoodie was inside in that sense. But man, like you would not be able to tell what was in here. It could be dog food for all you know, which is cool. Basics are sometimes very, very cool. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the hoodie itself, and this is cool. In hand, honestly, it does have a nice amount of weight to it because it is double lined. Double lined meaning it's pretty much two hoodies stitched inside and outside. Lots of stretchability. 100% cotton body. And from what I can see, once again, very minimal branding. I like this a lot. It looks like it's gonna fit, hopefully decent. I got a size large, but we're gonna get into that in terms of details. But off the rip, this hoodie is sick. Let me just hang it up. When it comes to the details and the branding on this hoodie, there isn't much to talk about. Kind of similar to its packaging. On the outside of the hoodie, it's all light brown. Very, very basic. On the inside of the hoodie, you're gonna really only find one piece of detailing signifying that it is a collaboration. On the neckline, there is a screen printed blue and white Yeezy Gap collaboration logo. Attached to that, there actually is a sizing tag. And that's really about it. When it comes to sizing and branding, the only other thing kind of signifying what the hoodie is, is where the usual wash tag is on the inside of the hoodie near the stomach pocket. There is some sizing information on the material, as well as where it's originated from, which in this case, this was made in Indonesia which is cool. Color-wise, I did opt to get the light brown colorway out of the six. 
However, on the site, it actually kind of looked more tan, which I was anticipating. But as you can see behind me, it's really just a regular saturated brown. This is like a mud colorway. Nevertheless, not disappointed because when it comes to earth tones, as I was saying earlier in the video, browns, olives, tans, uh, oranges, etc., all kind of go together with fall fits. Considering that this is a plain double lined cotton hoodie, there is not much room for error. But with that being said, when it comes to the construction of the hoodie, they executed a lot of things very, very well. First things first, as I was mentioning, it is a double lined hoodie. So it's pretty much like two hoodies just together, ultimately giving it a more bulky aesthetic. You know me, I have a sickness for the thickness, <laughs> very appropriate for fall and winter. You could get away with wearing it in the summertime, but I promise you, you'll be busting a sweat, especially if you wear an undershirt underneath. Kangaroo pockets, definitely durable, and it has a drop shoulder as well. Given that, I'm super happy with how it fits because that's the aesthetic I'd be going for when I incorporate this into some outfits. But with that being said, there is an issue that lies with a lot of people in terms of how it fits exactly. Sleeve wise, everything's fine. It's elongated sleeves to what the size actually would be. So a true to size large would have true to size large sleeves with a kind of extended cuff on the wrist. But when it comes to the torso, that's where a lot of the issues actually lie. Since it is extremely cropped, so much so that it ends really at my kind of belt line of where things would usually end. It kind of gives off that super long arm, short body, this may be a crop top type vibes. But for me, that's completely fine because I always wear another shirt underneath hoodies. For some people, it's causing us an issue, especially if you just want to wear it as a straight up hoodie, and especially if you're tall. Similarly to the sizing advice I gave with the Kanye 2020 Vision hoodie back in the day, I would always suggest sizing up if you're in doubt. That way, worst case scenario, you can shrink the hoodie or it does have a truly oversized fit if that's what you're going for. But if you don't do that and you go true to size and it is too small, especially if you're tall, your belly button is gonna be getting a lot of oxygen. And that may not be the best case scenario for me as a general public and even for you, just because you'd be adjusting your hoodie the whole time and you wanna be comfy because that's what hoodies are made for. I would say that the main differences between how the Yeezy Gap collaboration fits versus the Vision 2020 hoodie fits are really reliant on how aggressive the torso is cropped in the Yeezy Gap collaboration. For whatever reason, it's just a more aggressive cropping and it really makes it less forgiving when it comes to sizing. So all that being said, if you're in doubt, size up and you will be a happy camper. And last but not least, how could I forget one of the most important parts of a hoodie, the hood. This hood itself, honestly, I'm impressed with solely off the fact that it doesn't have any drawstring or drawstring holes. You know, I'm a big advocate of it being a cohesive unit. And in this sense, it really is double lined as well. And it has enough space to have all my hair in there and keep me warm. So that's two big thumbs up for me in terms of this hood. All in all, I think this is a solid hoodie. And if you can get your hands on it, you will not be disappointed. Given everything I just went over regarding sizing, quality, color, as well as fit of this hoodie, what do you think? Do you think that the high retail price is justifiable given it's really just a plain, basic double line hoodie? Or do you think since Connie is associated with it, there automatically is that inflated hype and anything he puts out, the masses are just gonna eat up? Let me know in the comment section below, but more importantly, let me know where you tend to get your basics from. If this hoodie is any indication of the trajectory that the Gap and Easy partnership is going to take over the next 10 years, then the future is looking bright. And I'm excited about that because I'm thoroughly impressed with how this came out. I'm super glad to have it in my closet for sure. So with that being said, that's it for today's video. I appreciate all of you who made it this far in the video for rocking with me. And I hope that you enjoyed the content as much as I enjoy making it. More vids on a weekly basis for sure, whether it's styling, whether it's sneakers, really everything in between with a little bit of vlog sprinkled in because I want to show you that there's more to life than just shoes and clothes. There's that like that gray area too, which is very, very cool to be honest. Anyways, I hope you're staying cozy and I'm wishing you the utmost luck if you're trying to get this hoodie right now after watching this video. Hopefully my review pointed you in the right direction in terms of sizing and in terms of really if it's worth the cop for you. But I appreciate the love and support. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Deuces!